Have you guys ever wondered if you guys could take too much vitamins or possibly overdose on vitamins? Well, stay tuned and find out. What's up everybody, so Edgman here. So a lot of you guys probably assume vitamins are harmless and you could take as many vitamins as you guys want. So that's not always the case, so let's get right into it. So there's two different types of vitamins. There's water-soluble vitamins and there's fat-soluble vitamins. They have a really big difference between those two. So common water-soluble vitamins include vitamin C and vitamin B. So what water-soluble basically means is if you ever take too much, you, your kidneys basically filter them out and you eventually pee the vitamins out. So if you ever take more than like 100% of what you're required, your body just flushes it out in your urine. I'm not telling you to go out and take too much vitamin C or B, but um, that's the general case for water-soluble vitamins like C and B. So the fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins D, A, K, and E. And as you remember, this is the acronym DIG. Now, these are the vitamins that you can possibly overdose on if you take too much. So it's generally recommended to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you want to be on fat-soluble vitamins like the ones we just mentioned, because you can overdose and these could cause some adverse reactions which we don't want in our patients. And as a side note, for these uh, fat-soluble vitamins, you always want to make sure you take it with food because it gets absorbed much better. So if you ever take vitamin D, A, K, or E, make sure you have some sort of meal or some sort of snack to help absorb it into your blood. So those are the basic differences between fat-soluble vitamins and water-soluble vitamins. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and give me a comment.